Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video, you guys. This is my second or third video of the day. I have no idea, bitch. But welcome, you guys. Get comfortable. Grab a snack, girl. Let me get a little more comfortable. Grab a snack and a drink. Um, let's just spill some tea, have some fun. Girl, listen, I just got... Um, I just got told off by our um, maintenance guy because I fucked up the dishwasher earlier. Because, girl, I didn't know you had to, like, rinse everything off the damn plates. So I, like, you know, clogged the dishwasher. But he came and he was like, Sebastian, you cannot clog the damn dishwasher anymore. Because if you do next time, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to charge you. And I was like, yeah, okay, then no, totally. Like, I totally understand. So I was like, do you want a little banana bread that I made? And he was like, no. And I was like, sure, it's really good. Maybe you can give some to your wife. And he was like, sure. He packed it up and he left. So I think we're on good terms, but like, I'm just spilling tea on my maintenance guy right now. Hey, Raul, you got, you know, he is the nicest guy in the whole entire world. Um, but just know that you have to rinse your plates really good before you put them in the damn dishwasher. Anyways, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sebastian. I welcome you guys with open arms. And let's get into this tea, girl, because... Ethan Klein did a video yesterday. So Ela is literally, or was due yesterday, okay? So they're waiting it out, blah, blah, blah. And then Keemstar starts talking about how Def Daddy Def Noodles and Ethan were making fun of his assistant, girlfriend, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Making fun that she still had braces. Like, just like, you know, whatever. And obviously, like, Keemstar is known to, like, say, you know, a lot of things about Ela, and, and, you know, and, and Ethan, uh, Ethan pointed it out, you know, he said that, um, Keemstar, you know, has started tweeted a lot of pictures of horses, and, you know, it sort of, like, implies that Ela looks like a horse. Well, anyways, Ela is about to give birth, Keemstar knows this, everybody knows this, I'm just sort of, like, is this YouTube thing that serious? Like, listen, we love to spill tea. You know, we love to know what's going on. We love to everything. And, you know, I do believe in standing up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself if you feel like somebody has wronged you or, you know, they've, they've spread lies or they made fun of you. But I feel like if you have, you know, the truth and light on your side, you don't have to go that extra. And, like, I feel like YouTube drama when it when it sort of plays into like real life like for example Ela being stressed over uh you know over this drama or you know any other dramas and then about to give birth like that's real life stuff you know what i mean so i'm just i'm i'm like wondering i'm like girl like is it that serious like yeah if you feel like somebody's made fun of you or anything like you definitely stand up for yourself but like i don't really know like because I've been seeing some comments saying, like, Keemstar's taking it too far. And then I'm also seeing some comments, you know, saying, like, well, Ethan should maybe, like, hold on to these videos until, you know, Ela gives birth. But Ela's right there as well. I don't think that Ela is this fragile being. You know, I think Ela has shown in the past that she can also stand up for herself. So I don't think that Ethan is doing anything wrong with doing these type of videos. I think it's like a fun distraction for Ela, to be honest. I think once you're about to give birth, you're like, mine is racing and you're thinking about all of these things and you know, you're also kind of very stressed out and you're scared or worried or whatever. Like you have so many emotions building up inside of you that, you know, I think, I think this distraction is cool. But you know, I feel like Ethan and Keemstar at some point in or another should sit down and like just talk. But are they like capable of just talking or like will they get physical like that's the thing that like i would never want to see you know i don't condone physical violence i don't think that you know it's 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 right i don't think it's funny i don't think i don't even like boxing you guys like okay when i was like you know growing up and my hormones were racing i was a horny teenager like i would watch wrestling just to see like you know the the wrestlers you know bulges but like that's like the extent of like the fighting and then i knew it was sort of fake you know like whatever i think maybe that's where like my daddy issue started happening i don't know bitch but you know so i don't know i feel like if they should just if they could just sit down and like just really talk about things i feel like first of all i think that you know there has been so much damage done there has been so many back and forths that maybe it would just be ideal for Ethan and Keemstar just to sit down in a safe environment with like security, right? And like distance between them, you know, like maybe like in a nice big table, like, you know, one on the other side of each other with security in the middle and just sort of like talk and like really go there. I feel like 
You know, I obviously feel like going back and forth helps both parties with views and stuff. So I feel like they don't mind that. But I do think that at some point, you know, they're both fathers. They're both like, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know when is like enough enough. And like, are people like getting bored of this like drama or, or anything? Let me see just quickly under his video to see like what the vibe is. Like I'm just gonna do the last couple of messages or not messages, comments. I can't believe he didn't want a little bit of banana bread, man. I, I did it so good. Hopefully his wife likes him. Okay, so like the last messages is, I can't believe he is still has that beard. Okay, so um, what is Keemstar even? Somebody says, as someone who also has Tourette's, I have dealt with countless Keemstars my entire life. And until I... I'm like an airplane, I only fuck away. I will ruin Sebastian's video. I will ruin Sebastian's video. And I don't give a damn. So it says, uh, I, until I found H3H3, I always felt so ashamed and humiliated of having tics. Ethan is so seriously the only reason I'm now comfortable talking about my Tourette's with others. Somebody, well, so there, of, of course, there's like a lot of, you know, Keemstar hate on this because it's, you know, Keemstar is disgusting. I really hope that H3 fans aren't actually harassing his GF though. Would, would like to think the majority of us have some common sense. Um, Keemstar looks like a defleted Bradley Martin. I have no idea what that means. Um, I disagree that it's important to make these videos. I think ignoring him is the best thing you can do. The people that believe Keem aren't going to change their mind based on a video you make. You're just giving him the attention he wants. Ignore him and let the people that follow him believe what they want. What difference does it make? So those, so okay, so I understand that comment, but I also really fully believe that you have to be able to speak your truth and you have to be able to defend yourself. If somebody is talking not so great things about you, you cannot just sit there and let it go. Of course, I get it. Ignoring is the best policy, but you are only human as well. So sometimes you just gotta turn on that camera and read a bitch up and down the field, honey, okay? So, you know, I don't know. I feel like I just really want Ela to have like a safe, you know, birth. I want her to be healthy. I want the baby to be healthy. I want Ethan to enjoy this moment um, and then go back to it. But I really think they should sit down and just like talk it out. And, you know, obviously, you know, in the drama fantasy world, everyone doesn't want no one to make up, you know, and they love the drama. But, you know, at some point, when are, when, like, when are people gonna get bored? You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Ethan should sit down with Keem? Um, do you think that Keemstar should have taken a little break, you know, doing this? Do you think Ethan is wrong by making those videos? Let me know in the comments below. Let's just take a second to wish Ela a beautiful, healthy birth. May she be healthy and safe and the baby as well and all of her family. And may my maintenance guy's wife really like the banana bread I made. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.